Ja. Welcome back. We are going to talk about nouns. Swedish nouns. And how we bend the nouns in sing, uh, plural and what we call uh, the termed form. Bestand form. And in this video we're gonna talk about the noun with the article en. Because in Swedish we have two articles. En and ett. And this, this time we're gonna talk about en. Uh, the problem with the articles is that you have to learn which article is, belongs to which noun. So every noun has a specific article and it's either en or et. And this you have to learn. So it's, yeah, there are no rules. You basically have to learn which article goes with which noun. So, uh, we have this grid, and here we have singular, obestemd form, undetermined, which is the same as a car in English. Here we have also singular, and what we call determined form, bestemd form, which is the car. In English. So, a car, the car. Yeah. Down here we have the plural, plural, undetermined form, which is cars. And over here we have the determined form, plural, the cars. So, in English, this is very easy. A car, the car, cars, the cars. In Swedish, not so easy. So, well, the first one is fairly easy. You have a car in bil, which is the same. But over here, determined form, we, we have the article n. And the article becomes a suffix on the word. So, the car, bilen. En bil, bilen. So the article becomes a suffix. Uh, so you see it here. En, bilen. And if you have a word, a noun, that ends with a vowel, in this case, penna, pencil. You don't say penna en. No, you just use en. So it becomes pennan, pennan. And it's, it is because of a vowel at the end. Then we just use en, pennan. But now, Plural, and this is this is this is difficult. So in English, really easy. Cars, just put the s. Easy. But in Swedish, we use suffix here as well, and we have three different suffixes for plural. So it depends. There are a few rules. For example, we can see here, if the word ends with an A, the suffix becomes OR. For example, sofa, in sofa, and plural, sofur, OR, OR. And you see the same here. Uh, well, penna, pennor, 
so it ends with an A. Another rule we can look at is uh, for what we call international words or loan words, words from other languages. They almost always ends with ER in plural. For example, telefon and plural, telefoner. So this one you can, you can use. But there are of course also Swedish words that ends with ER. For example, katt, cat, and plural katter, which has ER. And one of the most common is AR. For example, stolar. Chairs, en stol, a chair, stolar, chairs, so you have AR. Uh, and also you can have no suffix, which for example, you, when you talk about yrken, occupations, and occupations that ends with are, so Lärare, teacher, eller målare, painter, they have no suffix. They are the same, singular, plural. En lärare, två lärare, the same. And then we have determined form and plural. And they go this way. So, you have bilar. Undetermined form, but determined form you put na. So bilar, bilarna. Determined form. The cars, bilarna. Pennor, pennorna. Katter, katterna. And stolar, stolarna. So this is how we do it in Swedish, which is a bit more difficult than English. English is fairly easy when we talk about nouns, singular, plural. In Swedish, a bit more difficult, but this is how we do it. Thank you, and I'll see you later.